forgive seven times the one who wronged you once. This means that when someone wrongs you one time, repeat your forgiveness of him seven times in order to keep your religion safe and your heart clean. Desiring revenge will only sub subtract, subtract from your nerves, sleep or stability and peace while taking nothing away from others. But whoever forgives and makes reconciliation, his reward is due from Allah. The Indians say in one of their proverbs, the one who overcomes his own self is more brave than the one who conquers a city. Verily, the human self is inclined to evil. Take care of your outside as well as of your inside. A person who has a pure soul cares about wearing clean cl clothes. Some wise people have even said, when one's garment becomes soiled, his soil, his soul will follow suit. The root of vexation for many people is in being neither neat nor organized nor punctual. For others it is in having bad hygiene, dirty clothes or a sloppy appearance. The universe is bad on order, in fact to truly understand the depth and wisdom of our religion. One should appreciate that it came to organize our lives in both small and large matters. Everything with Allah is according to a measure. Jomadi related the following hadith. Verily, Allah is beautiful and he loves beauty, related the following hadith in his sahih. It is a right incumbent upon a Muslim to take a shower at least one day out of every seven. In it he washes his head and his body. This is the least that can be expected. Some of our pious predecessors would take a shower once a day, as he as has been transmitted to us about Uthman. May Allah be pleased with him. This is a spring of water to wash in cool and a fresh refreshing drink. Growing a beard, trimming one's moustache, cutting one's nails, brushing one's teeth, using perfume, washing one's clothes, and generally taking care of one's outward appearances. Appearance. These are all acts that are intrinsic, intrinsic, intrinsic to man. Performing these acts of hygiene makes one feel comfortable and good. It is also recommended to wear white. For the Prophet, blessings and peace be upon him, said, Wear white and use it as a shroud for your dead. You should organize your appointments in a small journal. or notebook allocating time to read, to worship, to exercise, and so on. For each and every matter there is a decree from Allah, and there is not a thing but with us are the stories thereof, and we send it to not down except in a known measure. In the, li in the Library of Congress hangs a large place card, play card, and written on it, are the words, the universe is based on order. This is true, for the divinely revealed religion calls for order, organization and harmony in action. Allah informed us that the affairs of the universe are not based on play and frivolity, but are uh, by preordainment, decree, measurement and organization. The sun and the moon run on their fixed courses, exactly calculated with measured out stages for each for reckoning. It is not for the sun to overtake the moon, nor does the night outstrip the day. They all float each in an orbit. And the moon we have measured for it mansions to traverse till it ter returns like the old dried curved date stalk. And we have appointed the night and the day as to ayat, signs, etc. Then we have made dark the sign of the night while we have made the sign of, the, of day illuminating, that you may seek bounty from your Lord, and that you may know the number of the years and the reckoning. And we have explained everything in detail with full explanation. 
Our Lord, you have not created all this without purpose. Glory be to you. We created not the heavens and the earth and all that is between them for a mere play. Had we intended to take a pastime, a wife or a son, we could surely have taken it from us. If we were going to do that and say, O oh, Muhammad, do deeds when a mentally sick patient would be brought to, to the state sages of Greece for treatment, they would force him to work in farming and in gardens. Only a short time would pass before he would return to health. Tradesmen who work with their hands are, as a class, more happy, easygoing, and calm than others. If you observe laborers, you will notice strength of body and peace of mind. Both of these are consequences of a satisfaction that comes with movement, exercise, and work. And I seek refuge in you, Allah, from incapability, incapability and laziness. Seek refuge with Allah, Allah, the great and glorious name. Going back to the root of the word, we learn a special meaning. Some say that the name Allah comes from the root Allah. This means that one whom the hearts of people love, find peace in, are happy with, turn to and accept as their God. Also, it is impossible for the heart to find peace or comfort with or other than him. For this reason, Fatima, may Allah be pleased with her, taught her daughter the supplication of the one who is in distress. Allah, Allah, my Lord, I do not associate my any partners with him. Say, Allah sent it down, then leave them to play in their vain discussions. And he is the irresistible above his slaves. Slaves. Allah is very gracious and kind to his slaves. Uh, they made not a just they made not a just estimate of Allah such as is due to him. And on him and on the day of resurrection the whole the whole of the earth will be grasped by his hand and the heavens will be rolled up in his right hand. Glorified be he, and high is he above all that they associate as partners with him. And remember the day when he, we shall roll up the heavens like a scroll, rolled up for books. Verily Allah grasps the heavens and the earth, lest they should move away from their places. I place my complete trust in him, always turning to Allah, placing one's trust in him and being satisfied with his care and protection. These are among the most important of factors that bring happiness to the believer. Do you know of any who is similar to him? Of course none is similar or co-equal or comparable, comparable to him, and he has none as partner with him. There is nothing like him, and he is the all-hearer, the all-seer.